Alright guys, welcome to Chris and Chris. Uh, today it's not going to be a drive this, it's going to be, it's not even going to be an eat this, sorry buddy. Yeah. Uh, but it's going to be a answer this. So our marketing department has come up with some uh, questions, quiz questions for us. So hopefully you brought your brains. Did you bring your brains? Yeah, we'll see. He brings the beard but not the brains. Accurate. So I, I bring a beard. That's every day, 24-7. Alright, so we're going to start with the questions. Question number one, how many months have 28 days? All of them. Correct. All of them. Correct. Yes. Ah. One, right, hey, we're, that's one for one. Yep, yep, we're good. A farmer had 17 goats. Oh, All but six died. How many survived? Repeat the question. A farmer had 17 goats. All but six died. How many survived? Six. Six. Correct. Oh, thank God. That was, I mean, that was almost too simple. It was too simple, I thought it was hard. Correct. What occurs once in a year, twice in a week, but never in a day? Once in a year. What occurs once in a year, twice in a week, but never in a day? Once in a year. Twice in a week. Cox's dating life? Oh wow. <laughs> um, um, let's see. Um, once, a, once in a year, twice, twice in, a in a day. What happens twice in a day? 12 no. months? No. 12? No. Once a year, twice I'll a week. I'll read the question one more time. What occurs once in a year, twice in a week, but never in a day? Oh, uh, rotation of the earth? So are we giving up? Yep. The letter E. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yes. That's. I don't think. I, <laughs> nope, not that's not going to be a good video for us. Ah. Okay. okay. Ready? So let's see. What do we got here? Barry's dad has three sons. Snap, Crackle, and Barry. I mean, you said Barry's dad has three sons, right? Yeah. Snap. Yeah. Crackle and Barry. Correct. Uh, that the look, was, that the look on his face yeah, was like, like oh, that's wrong. That's a, you guessed that way too quick. <laughs> he didn't way too quick. Say. Yeah, there's no way you're going to bring forth that wrong. fast. No way. After that last one, nope. I didn't even have to read the question again. I'm like, there's no way they got to answer that fast. <laughs> no way. I don't even know what the hell I just read. I heard some but, serious IQ level here. Right. I mean, all right. Woo. Ready? There's a bowl with, excuse me, there's a bowl with seven apples. You remove three. How many do you have? A bowl with seven apples, you remove three. How many do you have? Well, you still have seven apples. Just four in a bowl and you have three. So seven? You still have the ones that are in the bowl, plus the ones in your hand. So that's seven still. I mean, the obvious answer would be four. Obvious. But that's probably not correct. Because so it didn't say how many are still left in the bowl. It says how many do you have? So right. you remove yeah. three. I'm going seven. I'm going to go seven, two. Three. Oh, there it oh, is. Yeah. There. You, there yeah. is yeah. a yeah. bull with seven apples. You yeah. remove three. Yeah. How many yeah. do you have? Got it. Just, yeah. nice. Michelle even messed that up. Don't worry. <laughs> Weird guy, sorry. Before, <laughs> we're letting you down. Sorry. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain on Earth? Before Mount Everest. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain on Earth? Um, is it the Matterhorn? Or is Mount it? Olympus. Is it the, um, I think it's Matterhorn or... Fuji? Matterhorn? Fuji? Uh, Rainier? It's, it's, it's not a real mountain. <laughs> that would be my oh. guess. Well, okay, hold on. <laughs> Ask the question. Before Mount Everest was discovered, what was the highest mountain on Earth? Mount Everest. I mean... It was Mount Everest because it was still the highest mountain on Earth. Touche. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> looked in too far into it. Can you believe that, Hoppy? I looked too far into something. Yeah, he wanted to break down a report and all kinds of crap. Yeah. Something I never do. Cox, you oh, can't mess this up. Don't. It's gotta be. Don't food. put that juju on. Is it a food question? It's gotta Name be food one question. meal told you. you can never eat for breakfast. Easy. You you can eat everything for breakfast. Can't eat dinner for breakfast. You can. 
You can also eat breakfast but any it, time of the day. But if it's you're eating dinner for breakfast, is it dinner or is it still breakfast? All right, read the question. Name one meal you can never eat for breakfast. You can never eat for breakfast. It'd be dinner. Dinner. I think it's supper. Dinner. Correct. Lunch Told and you. dinner. But that would be two meals. Name one meal <laughs> you can never eat for breakfast. Mm. Lunch and dinner. Buzzfeed. Good mm. job. What word becomes shorter when you add two letters to it? Short. Correct. Good job. <laughs> can I say, it's all that Air Force training, I can't blame you were in the Army. I uh, was in the Army. It's okay. I was in the Army for a reason. That's why I like to eat crayons. If three kids Green. can eat three hot dogs in three minutes, how many minutes would it take for a hundred kids to eat a hundred hot dogs? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh, hundred minutes? Three. Yeah, wait, hold on. If three kids can eat three if hot th If three kids can eat three hot dogs in three minutes, okay. how many minutes would it take 100 kids to eat 100 hot dogs? Three, three minutes. A minute? No, three minutes. Correct. Good job. Three minutes. Yep. Again, yep. Hey. Where, where are you at on this? Uh, I'm, I, I can I'm, see, I'm sitting over here looking pretty, all right? I, I, I can see who's in charge of this relationship. Oh, wow. All right. A clothing shop announces a new pricing system. A shirt costs $25, a hat is $15, and a vest is $20. How much does their underwear cost? Huh? <laughs> a clothing shop announces a new pricing system. A shirt costs $25, a hat is $15, and a vest is $20. How much does their underwear cost? So you have the three prices are 20, 15, and 10? 25, 15, yeah. and 20. 25, 20, 15. I'm going to say $10. I don't know if that's right, but. Two bucks. I have no clue. 45. The clothing shop charges $5 for every letter in the word. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Mm. Yeah. No. That just happened. And that concludes our quiz. That's it? Any more brain busters? Come on. You can do a fun one. Yeah, let's do a fun one. Let's do a fun one. There's a Are you a Karen? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> let's do that. Or I, I like this Disney princess superhero or superhero one. Okay. Here, this is what we'll do. We're gonna do Are You a Karen? Cox, you're gonna answer the questions for Castler. <laughs> and can I ask and then you're gonna answer them for him. 100%, I like this oh, idea. Wow. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Your opinion of Castler, Cox. Oh, shoot. <laughs> do you give your opinion to strangers who didn't ask for them? Absolutely. Almost always, always, rarely, or never? Absolutely always. Always, I do. <laughs> If they disagree with your opinion, do you feel the need to argue with said stranger? Most of the time. Come on, keep together. <laughs> you start to get really worked up because oh, the yeah. stranger you bothered won't just agree with you. No, then bad. they pull out their phone to record your tirade. What do you do? Uh, Here are the answers. Tell Adam to go home. <laughs> I don't think I'd ever get that worked up. I'd just leave once the phone got pulled out. I'd keep arguing and also try to grab the phone. I'd flip them off, then walk away. I'd call the police. I'd tell them to F off and walk away. <laughs> uh, I want to go uh, flip them off and walk away. You see an older beat up car parked about a block from your home. Yeah, you Here's the answer. Just immediately go out and start recording it and ask, you, ask them what they're doing. Does this say non nonchalant? Oh, yeah, that, that's what that word says. Nonchalant. It's uh, a big word. That's how you spell nonchalantly. That's a weird spelling. Huh. Try to nonchalantly look inside the car. Leave a nicely worded note on their dashboard. So my kid up. Call the police. Stake out the car and wait to talk to the owner. Leave a strongly worded note on the da dashboard. Do nothing and mind your own business. Definitely love that. Uh, definitely the third and fourth option. Leave a note. I think everyone should share my beliefs because they're right. <laughs> yeah. Not true at all. 
Not usually true. Usually true, but you don't make a big fuss about it. Somewhat true, and you'll argue if you need to. Somewhat true. I'm a Karen. You're gonna be a Karen. This is so my favorite. Excuse me. My favorite letter is the first letter of my child's name, fur babies included. Completely random. The first letter of my partner's name. The first letter of my parent's name. The first letter of my last name. Or the first letter of my first name. The first letter of his last name. Money is important for money is important for happiness. Too much money can make you unhappy. Not always. It would probably make me happier. It can't hurt. Buy more fish. It can't hurt. You know? <laughs> Experiences or possessions. I like to balance them out. I want both, and I'll get both. All I need is me and a good time. I like things. Mm. He likes things. I like things. <laughs> but all I need is me though too, sometimes. I'm the guy you don't want on a party, but you have to have a party. <laughs> if you want to have any kind of excitement. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that others should do things for me. Often, rarely, sometimes, always. Very rarely. Rarely. Good job, man. You're... And lastly, yep. do oh, you ever <laughs> ask to speak to the manager? Always? Always. 100%. Absolutely does. If you don't get what the answers you want, go to somebody else. The military always taught me that. And now Castle's ready. He is a 100% he's a, Karen. He's a typical... 6%? Typical Karen. You're about 90% Karen. <laughs> you like to think that you're in control of every situation, but you occasionally give yourself a little room to be wrong. Oh, wow. It's pretty close. Well... Can I do the Disney princess for him? Yes. Oh, dear. Yes. I can't wait. Which Disney princess are you? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite Disney movie? Uh, yeah. For him, it would be... Uh... Well, do you want the options? Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. Hunchback of Notre Dame, Robin Hood, Aristocats, The Lion King, The Love Bug, Freaky Friday, The Sword in the Stone, Lady and the Tramp, or the Black Cauldron? <laughs> definitely, definitely Lady in the Tramp. Secretly, you think your enemies are envious of... His beard. My industrious... It, my industriousness... Yeah, sure. That. My looks. I don't have enemies. My determination. My dreams. My wealth. My bravery. My demeanor. Or my passions. I don't think he has enemies. Everybody likes Cox. I mean, people are probably envious of that beard, though. That's correct, but what would those people? That'd be his looks. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. He doesn't have it. He's just a nice guy. Hmm. <laughs> Portraits, at least. Oh dear. What are you most scared of? I can't read this because it's in the colors. Saying goodbye to my friends, losing my job, pop quizzes. Global warming, scissors, Walmart, Weird. war, being alone, standing still. What? All right, what was the first two? Saying goodbye to my friends or losing my job. I'm going to say he's more afraid of saying goodbye to his friends. Because he's probably like me and doesn't have very many. <laughs> this is a good question. Mm -mm. What do you look for in a soulmate? Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Loyalty. Can you edit this? If I <laughs> steadiness, passion, bravery, oh. kindness, beauty, humor, a sense of adventure, or wealth. Can Can you really edit this? Because I really want to say. <laughs> well, let's go. Uh, honestly, you know, with him, I'm gonna say it's. Um, was there humor in there? Yes. Can I check too? Because humor, humor and beauty, you know. No. Humor. No, you know, get humor. He's, he's got to have somebody that keeps him entertained. Because if they, he's gonna get bored if he's not entertained. That's Choose a talking animal. Mm. A phoenix. Oh a bluebird. A talking animal. Yeah. Yes. Phoenix. It's your, it's your sidekick. Can a phoenix talk? So. In Disney movies, I mean, yes. There's. I don't know, can you go find one for me to check it out? Any movie has a phoenix. I've never seen a phoenix talk. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Alright, move forward, let's go. I bet you there's a movie called The Talking Phoenix. Well, I know a movie. Hey, hey, you know what? 
We know it's not going to be a Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, the Phoenix <laughs> is out. Got it. Phoenix is out. Phoenix, Bluebird, Mouse, Meerkat, Warhog, Animals Can't Talk, Cockatoo, Shark, or Possum. Mm. I'm going to go with a Meerkat. He has a little Meerkat little buddy because he's so big. This thing little rounds is like... Maybe that's why he's like, I'm like a Meerkat. <laughs> What do you like to do with your time off? Oh boy. Go camping, just get out of town, get together with family, lie around, I'm always working, play video games, burn the candles at both ends, LARP, go to the beach. LARP, LARPing is where you like perfect, pretend swords. It's called it's live like, action role playing. Huh. Oh, Definitely not that. <laughs> I, you know what? I, out of all those, I'm going to say he likes to go camping and stuff like that, but he's currently, since I've known him, he burns a candle at both ends. Because he's got his nightlife and his work life. Sure. What is the secret to true love? Oh, oh God. Uh, Humor, understanding, I'll know it when I find it, faith, compassion, acceptance, communication, chemistry, equality. Is there one for all of the above? Or actually, you know what? I'm just going to go. Uh, he'll know when he finds it. Just to find out what kind of princess I am? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, it's getting pretty deep. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Wow. Where do you like to have your first date? Oh, my goodness. Movie theater, a bar, a club, a park, the zoo, coffee shop, a restaurant, I don't have time to date, or a museum. What was the first one? Movie theater. Second one? A bar. I'm gonna say a coffee shop. That's why they always bring coffee. Pick an artist. Lord, Imagine Dragons, Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, Miles Davis, Randy Newman, Drake, Bruno Mars. I'm gonna... <laughs> Avicii. Avicii. He's dead now. Can I have that? Can I have that first <laughs> list again? This quiz is from 2014. Lord. Imagine Dragons, Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry, <clears throat> Miles Davis, Randy Newman, Drake, Bruno Mars, Avicii. I'm going to go with Katy Perry. <laughs> what? Because I've seen you sing Katy Perry songs before. So. Oh, God. What is happily ever after? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Having good friends. Oh, this is so awesome. Sure. <laughs> Finding my equal. Achieving my dreams, in a job I love, in a caring relationship, in a castle, in finding inner peace. I'm not sure, but it isn't what is happening now. The adventure continues. Uh, let's go with, uh, my final answer is going to be, uh, the adventure continues. He's not so... Drum roll, please. <laughs> oh my. Jasmine, daring and adventurous, you are considered the daredevil of your group. You enjoy having fun, taking risks, and living life to, to its fullest. Awesome. Congratulations, <laughs> Jasmine. All right, Jazz. All right, cool. Right. That was awesome, guys. You learned a lot about yourself? Yeah, I learned, <laughs> I learned a lot Jesus. about myself. Uh, I, I learned a lot about what he thinks of me, and probably vice versa. But, I mean, you know, hey, that's what we do around here. We have fun and sell cars and answer questions about being a Disney princess. Apparently. We should have done this one for Gox. You're really good if you can identify these unwrapped candy bars. That would have been a way better one. Way better food. <laughs> food like, we need a, a food challenge for him, quite quiz, and a mechanical challenge for me. Card quiz. Food quiz. But you did bomb the, the donut tasting. Blindfolded was completely crazy. I... It, it, Messed up your taste buds, man. I don't think that's. How a does thing. it mess up your taste buds? I, just, I don't know. That don't is know. not a thing. It's not a thing. It did. It's not a thing. It did. I'm really okay. good at food. You're really good at food, or you're really yeah. good at eating food. Both. Okay. Well, then there's that. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> until next time. Uh, if you, if you enjoyed this, great. Uh, give us a thumbs up or <laughs> recommend a better quiz. Or recommend a better quiz. Yeah. So uh, until next time, this is Chris and Chris. Uh, thank you.